Welcome back everyone, my name is Chris Palmer from AviatorTraining.com coming to you from beautiful Homer, Alaska. And I'm out here uh, demonstrating some maneuvers today for you. You can check that in a, out in a regular video and in a virtual reality video. Feel free to check out both versions. If you like this, go ahead and subscribe and share with someone else. Alright, so we are going to practice an emergency uh, landing. Now, I'm not actually going to land the airplane, but we're going to go through the process of what that would be like. So we're just cruising along here, singing a song, having fun, going here and there. One thing we always do as pilots is we look out for a landing location. Now, I just so happen to be very lucky where I live, where we have a lot of landable beaches. So I'm very rarely uh, concerned about where I'm going to land. I don't fly over open water, for example, or at least not outside of gliding distance. So, say that I had an issue, okay? The engine just died, we had a simulated engine out. The first thing I need to do, we're going to go through the ABCs, the first thing I need to do is pitch for best glide, which in this airplane is 80 miles per hour, okay? So I'm getting best glide here on the airspeed indicator of 80 miles per hour, that's A. B, best place to land, okay? Where are we going to land? We're looking around, well, I know that there's a nice landable beach behind me, so I'm going to start turning that direction. C, checklist. We would start to move up. So check our fuel here. Check the carburetor heat. Maybe it's a carburetor heat issue, which I actually need to add. Mixture, um, primer, all of those things that have to do with fuel, all right? We want to check everything. And then we could actually bring out our emergency checklist and go through that. So that's C, the checklist. Look how much time we have, all right? Plenty of time to make decisions. Now, we've already chosen to land somewhere, but now that we have a little bit more time, let's start scanning and thinking about maybe some better places to land. Don't overcommit on where you are going to go, all right? Because there could be an airfield just right by you, and you're trying to land on a road. So just think it through. You've got the time. Look, the airplane's flying itself. It's almost on autopilot, and I can go through here and, and uh, start to go through this process, okay? Now, D, declare. Declare an emergency, talk to someone, tell them where you're at, tell them what you're doing, and, and where you're gonna land and what the process is, all right? So that is D. Now, E, plan for the emergency landing, the egress of the airplane. You're gonna wanna pop the doors, you're gonna wanna brief your passengers on what to do, you're gonna wanna have them brace themselves if that is, uh, if that is uh, needful. And you can see here, I'm setting up on this beach, and things just look really, really nice, all right? And things look nice here set up for our scenario as well. Okay, I may even think of slipping the airplane at this point, and or adding flaps, because that beach is fairly long. And I'm pretty high, believe it or not. So working our way down, again, we have plenty of time to make a decision on exactly what we're gonna do, and that is the emergency checklist. A, airspeed, B, best place to land, C, checklist, D, declare your emergency, and E, plan for the emergency, all right? So I'm gonna recover here at about 500 feet. Look for some bears out there or something. I don't see anything. All right, so I'm gonna recover now. Could've gone even lower. And that is it, all right? So hope you guys enjoyed that. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And share this with a friend in the aviation community. And I look forward to talking to you guys next time. Until then, throttle on.